MEP, fine defender of the Palestinian people and advocate for their rights in the European Parliament, fearlessly raising the issue again and again. Welcome, Mick. How are you doing? It's powerful to see so many people here. Before October 7th, it was hell in Gaza. But the Western political elites were silent. Now there's a genocide, and the same political elites are not able to condemn the Israeli apartheid regime and the genocide they're calling out. You wonder, is it any wonder when they were okay with what had happened for the last 75 years that they can now live with a genocide? We're watching it on our phones and the politicians in Europe and America are refusing to tell the truth about what's happening. You wonder how they can get to that place. We're in the parliament, and it's shocking what we've witnessed in the last four months in the parliament. You wonder how can they take that position? Well, they distance themselves from it, from the reality, to pretend it's not happening. They dehumanize the Palestinians. They demonize the politicians, Palestinians. They then try to blame the Palestinians. They think they, they make out the guilt is with them. And before they know it, they're arguing that the bombing is justified and that the Palestinians brought it upon themselves. October 7th has been isolated for them. They isolated it because they didn't want to talk about the 75 years that led to it. But by isolating it, they can pretend, oh, this was a terrible atrocity and we must react. We've got ourselves in a place now where the oppressor is entitled to defend themselves. The colonizer is entitled to defend themselves against the colonized. Where is this mindset coming from? How can you do that? Well, I'll tell you how they do it. Because Europe and America and the, and the UK, they still pretend that they're part of the civilized world. And they pretend that the people that they're fighting with are the barbarians. They did it in Afghanistan, they did it in Iraq, they've done it in Syria, they've done it in Yemen, they've done it in Libya, and they never gave a damn about the millions that were destroyed in those wars because they are the barbarians and we are the civilized ones. Well, if we were civilized, We'd learn to respect other cultures. We'd learn to respect other people, their country, and we wouldn't demonize them. We wouldn't pretend that they were less than us. We wouldn't pretend that we were better than them because we're not. We're the ones with human rights and democracy, and they're the ones who don't. And we're great because we have human rights and democracy. Well, you know what? We only care about human rights in European politics when it suits us. And we don't care when it doesn't suit us. We geopoliticize human rights. We give out about the likes of Iran and China and God knows who else, Syria, Venezuela. 
and we say, oh, they're terrible people. And then we sit down and have tea and buns with the Israelis and the Saudis and the UAE. And the Americans, don't ever forget that the U.S. Empire drops more bombs every year since 1945 than the rest of the world put together. And, and they're our like-minded partner. Our like-minded partner. They have our shared values. Ursula von der Leyen said, we share values with Israel. Well, you know what? She was actually telling the truth. And it's very sad for the Europeans that we share values with the apartheid regime in Israel. But that's where we are at. This cannot continue in its, while it's happening now. The Europeans and the Americans and the Brits have been exposed for the fact that they are still have a colonial mindset. Borrell told us that Europe was a garden and Africa and Asia was a jungle. That's exactly how they think and that's how they can actually behave like they do. We've only had one call for a ceasefire in the European Parliament in four months. One that passed and it was one that was only could happen on Israel's terms. On Israel's terms. So it wasn't a call for a ceasefire at all. So we have, to, we have over 12,000 children have been massacred by the apartheid regime of Israel and the European politicians don't want it to stop. No more than they never wanted a war in Ukraine to stop where there's over 300,000 Ukrainians working class kids dead. They didn't give a damn about them either. We're colonizing that place too. And where's the Irish government? We've had some nice words from them about Palestine. Some nice words. But we had no action. Why didn't they stand with South Africa? Why is the Irish politicians going to Washington to shake hands with Butcher Biden? There's a limit. This is a genocide and we're watching it. We, no, no, no Irish politician should be found in Washington shaking hands with Biden because it's legitimizing what he's doing and making the argument that they're going to fucking talk to him when you go over there is bollocks. The Irish government has given licenses to dual use weapons to Israel, over 10 million euros worth. Why is the Irish government doing that? The Irish government has bought drones from the Israelis. Why is the Irish government doing that? They're using, we bought the same drones that the Israelis have tested on the Palestinians. We've bought them. There's blood on our hands. The Irish Strategic Investment Fund has invested in companies that are occupying in the occupied territory of Palestine and in the Golan Heights. Why is that happening? Why is our government allowing that? They say they care about the Palestinians, but why don't they show us that they care? Yeah. Yeah. Shannon, the US military have been using Shannon for 20 years to destroy millions of lives and homes in communities with predominantly Muslim population. And we are still tolerating it. Why? Why? Are we letting the Irish government away with it continue to allow Shannon to be used as a military base to destroy millions of people of a different culture? It's sick. And we have to stop it. People need to think about that. Shannon is really crucial. We are facilitating slaughter of US empire against countries and peoples that they're not in tune with. I've obviously been talking too much. Thanks everyone for coming. Free Palestine! And the hell with the politicians!